Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an impromptu video for you. It was not the video I originally planned for today. I originally planned a like non-fiction type video and I filmed it yesterday before I went to work and I re-watched all the clips and hated it. One, I just rambled on like I'm doing now about stuff that I realized didn't need to be in there. Then I realized I just I just didn't like it. I didn't like the format. I didn't like what I just didn't like it. So I will be doing a video like that um, probably in January, roughly because I have an idea what I'm gonna do next week. So <laughs> I can't do it next week. But I am very excited to do it at some point. But today's impromptu video is actually going to be a haul. I went shopping with my mom and we have a Christian bookstore in the town that we were shopping in and I decided to stop in. And lo and behold, I see this glorious sign saying that their bargain books were buy one, get one free. And their bargain books are great, like seven to $10. They have a section that are like five dollar books but those are like the itty bitty ones that nobody actually reads well I mean some people might read those but I don't so that didn't work for me but all their fiction and non-fiction stuff ranges from seven dollars and then they have the ten dollar ones and I didn't really look at the ten dollar ones because it just I don't know I mean I skimmed through but I'm like no because there are tons that were seven so I got a ton that seven dollars they do still have the stickers on them I haven't had time to take them off since I got home and then on top of that uh, bookstore haul I actually got a couple books in the mail so I'm going to show them to you as well so that further ado let's just jump right into the video I am going to start with the books that I got from um, the mailbox <laughs> in the mail today I got these from Better World Books, this is the first time I had ever used this website. Um, I've never heard anything about it, so I didn't go off somebody's word. But it just appeared in my ads one day when I was scrolling through thrift books. I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it out. So I did, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Um, their books were pretty cheap. They are used. They're pretty cheap. Um, my books shipped free. But I'm not sure if that's something that they run all the time or that they were just doing for the holidays. After the holidays, I'm actually going to jump back on and check and see if it was just a holiday thing or what. But I jumped on a couple books while there was free shipping, so I'm going to show them to you now. So I got three Melanie Dickerson books from uh, Better World Books. They are ex-library books, which I was not aware of and I don't know if it would have stopped me per se from getting them because I they were pretty cheap again they shipped free I think I ended up only spending like $13 on all three of them which is cheaper than one of her books so like I'm not upset about the used condition they're in my problem is they have those stupid library stickers and I am paranoid that I won't be able to get it off without ruining the book and that just freaks me out a little bit so I'm going to try I have a friend that um, told me she knows how to get them off so she told me goo gone or something like that whatever it's called but I'm gonna see if maybe rubbing alcohol non acetone or acetone free or whatever I'm gonna see if that might help and I'm going to take it very very slow because I am petrified like freaking out already and I haven't even started <sighs> anyways on to the actual books the first book I got was they're so flimsy like they're so soft I'm fine with that it is the Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson, and this was the first book that she ever published, I believe. I believe it was her debut. 
and uh, Zondervan is the publisher. And this is the retelling of, fairy tale retelling of Sleeping Beauty, I believe, is The Healer's Apprentice. I'm so excited. The next one I got from Better World Books is The Merchant's Daughter, also Peterson. And this is a fairy tale retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Let me tell you something. I am so excited. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love Sleeping Beauty. I love fairy tales. So I am super excited to actually jump in and read the fairy tale series. Because, yeah. And then the last book I got from this specific haul is The Princess Spy. Also by Melanie Dickerson. And I believe that this is the... A retelling of the frog prince type thing. Duh! Oh, okay, Alicia is literally right there. There's frogs. One, she's in greens, but there's also frogs sitting here on the cover that I never noticed. So that's the frog prince retelling. And I'm very, very excited for it. So those were the three books that I got from Better World Books. I will link um, the well, the link in the description box below so you guys can check them out if you are interested. And I am so excited to actually finally get to these books. I think I need two more. And then I have all of the, um, Hagenheim, I believe, is the real stories, like the real series name. Um... And I've been told to read them in order, so it took me a while to get one, two. I got three a while back. So now I need the Captive captive Maiden and the Silent Songbird. And then Orphan's Wish when that comes out next year. So I believe that's all I need from Miss Melanie Dickerson. And then I will have the Hagenheim series. I won't have them all. I still need quite a few to finish off the rest of her books. But yeah, that's beside the point. I'm just rambling. All right, it's going to be a very long video. Next, I'm going to get into the books that I got from the Family Christian store that's by us. I ended up walking out of there with three bags of books. I will say I was very impressed. They did mess up my organization just a little bit when they were checking me out. But... That's okay. I noticed that they only put a couple books in each bag and I was very, very thankful as someone who loves what her books look like and thrives off of perfect books. I was very thankful that they didn't try to shove every single book that I bought into one bag. So I left with three and it gave me the perfect amount of bags separated equally. I did get 12 books to separate the genres that I got. So I got um, books from three different genres, kind of. So let's start with the first bag. I think that it's only fair that since the actual video plan for today was going to be a nonfiction, to start with the nonfiction book. If you can hear me over the bag rattling. All right, I... We'll talk about this in my video, but I'm wanting to read more nonfiction and get into it more and just read more books in that genre, uh, Christian-wise, that can really help me. So I ended up getting four nonfiction books. So I ended up spending a total of $14 on nonfiction books since it was seven for um, this one. Th they were all seven, but buy one, get one free, so. So, let's start with the first one. The first one that I got is called Brazen, and it is by Leanna Tan Tankersley. Sorry. And this is The Courage to Find the You That's Been Hiding. And it's a beautiful color. This is by Rebel Publishing. And it's just finding... There are so many moments in life when we choose to silence our intuition, abandon our own voice, and play small because of that accusing voice inside that whispers, "What? who do you think you are anyway? So it's just 
says, Gritty and overflowing with grace, Brazen can set you free to be truly yourself in a world bent on molding you into its own image. And I'm really, really excited to read this. And it's beautiful to look at, so there's that. The next one I'm going to talk about is Come With Me, Discovering the Beauty of Following Where He Leads. And this is by Suzanne Eller. I'm going to hold it like this so you guys can see. And it is uh, forward by Michelle Cushat, a best-selling author of Undone. Why do I feel like I've heard that before? I'm not sure. Where you are going is not as important as who you go with. So it's just talking about uh, following God's lead and being available to follow his lead. And I'm super, super excited about this too. And again, it's another one that's really pretty to look at. And this is by Bethany Publishing. The next one that I'm going to talk about is really cute. I saw it as kind of like a last minute thing. I was just scanning through the books one more time. And I'm glad I took the time to do it because I'm really, really excited to read this. It's very small, so. And that is The Divine Dance, written by Shannon Kubiak Promisirio. Promisirio? I'm really sorry. I'm terrible at last names and first names, let's be real. But especially author's names, for some reason, I just, I can't. I just, I'm sorry. And this is, if the world is your stage, who are you performing for? And it says, stop dancing for the world's applause and step into God's studio. To stop looking for other people's um, love and opinion and applause kind of thing. And it's just, it looks like a really nice read. So I am excited about this. And the last nonfiction book that I am going to talk about tonight, because it's the last one that I bought tonight, is Every Season Prayers, Gospel-Centered Prayers for the Whole of Life by Scotty Smith, with a forward by Elise Fitzpatrick, which she wrote um, uninvited, unglued, like she has a ton and I don't have uninvited and I've heard so much about that book and I I picked it up like three times I bought it for somebody else but didn't get myself a copy and now I kind of wish that I had I've heard it's amazing so I need to get my hands on a copy of that book but I've heard that she's a really good author and I'm excited to read some of her books anyways about this book this is, are you ever at a loss when it comes to what to say in your prayers? Every season prayers offer, offers a treasure trove of prayers that will lead you into a more intimate relationship with God. So, like this is a prayer for getting still before God and living that way. A prayer for owning feelings of vulnerability, sadness, anger, and longing. And it just like gives the prayer that can help you achieve these things. And I love this so much. This is another one, I think it was like the only one sitting there. And I read it, I picked it up and I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm also very excited to read this one. This is by Baker Books Publishing. Those were the four nonfiction books that I got. I had two more. I had Girl Defined by the lovely YouTubers Girl Defi Girls Defined, or Girl Defined, I can't remember what their title is. I will link their channel down below as well. And then I had another one I can't remember what it was called, um, but I decided that I, they just weren't right for me at the time. It wasn't something that really caught my eye when I picked them back up again and just kind of flipped through them. So I went ahead and I restrained myself from spending another $7, I know, and I did not get those this time. I am excited with the lot of books that I did get, and they're so pretty. I'm excited to add them to my shelf. The next genre slash bag I'm going to do is contemporary books. Um, there's suspense in here as well, but since they're not historical suspense, I put them with the contemporary books because that's where they belong. So without further ado, contemporary. So, um, these, I 
got four contemporary books. I got two contemporary romance and two contemporary suspense. And they're actually uh, both a part of series, but they didn't have the complete series there. So I just got what they did have and I'll pick them up. I'll grab the other books of the series when I come along to it. If it takes me a while, I guess it's okay. I know I have so many other books that I need to read that I was content with just not having the full series at this time, if that makes any sense. Going to do the contemporary romance first. And I got two Becky Wade books. I got A Love Like Ours. It is so cute, her covers. Oh, that makes my day. And Meant to Be Mine. Also another super, super cute one. And I love that there's actually a total of three different pictures on her books. You have the front covers. Then you have side pictures. And then at the back, there is another picture. And I am so excited to read these books. Her books are always so bright and so captivating, but I know I can hear the gasps now. I have not actually read one of her books. Like, I don't even think I've read one of her novellas. Like, I just am behind the times, man. And again, my friend who is trying to help me with my whole library book situation, stick situation, because <laughs> they're sticking. <laughs> I crack myself up. I need help. My friend who is helping me out with that situation is also um, like my go-to for book recommendations. My book pal, Becca. I love you, girl. You're my fave. But she's always telling me about Becky Wade, and I just haven't been able to pick him up. And I'm pretty sure Baker House had one of her books. I think it's True to You was the one she had that was for five dollars but I don't think it's part of the series I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I have to look into all of her books but I'm so excited to read these Porter Family Novels Undeniably Yours Meant to Be Mine and A Love Like Ours so I'm missing book one of course I am and I'm pretty sure there's a fourth book to the series I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong as I said that. So I guess he's looking into getting Becky Wade's first book to this series. This girl. Because. Ha. Huh, called it her one and only. I knew there was a fourth book. I seriously need to get on the ball with looking into all of her books. Okay. I'm going to move on to the next one. Because I literally just keep rambling about this. But I'm super excited. <laughs> The next set of contemporary books that I got are the Contemporary Suspense, and that is the Elite Guardians series by Miss Lynette Eason. I have heard so many wonderful things about this series. This is book one and book three. They did not have book two, so I'll have to wait. But I've heard wonderful things about this series, and... They're beautiful covers. I love how simple they are. I'm really, really excited. I haven't picked up a suspense. If you follow my Instagram, for the love of Christian fiction, I did a story last night. I started I started Oath of Honor by Lynette Easton, and I haven't picked up a suspense book in, like, an actual suspense book in probably years. It's been a while. I've been so focused on my love of historical fiction that I've been so blinded to the fact that there are so many other genres out there. Like, I knew that there were, but I read them so much because I didn't know about historical fiction at the time that I kind of burnt myself out of those genres. Does that make sense? So I was going through, like, a couple-year genre slump. Is that a thing? Can we make that a thing? Let's 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 make that thing a genre slump. I'm liking the sound of that. But I was going through a contemporary romance as well as a suspense, contemporary suspense, genre slump. But I started reading this book and realized how much I actually like suspense. 
And how much I really like Lynette Easton's writing. I have a couple of her love inspired suspense novels, so like really small ones. And I always liked her writing. But I forgot that she, I didn't realize she wrote big books. And that's, I'm so excited. So I'm going to tell you the titles of the books since I didn't talk about those. It is Always Watching, which is number one. And number three is called Moving Target. I can't wait to get my hands on number two, which is green. So they will be so pretty together. I love when series match like this. They're so simple. So these are the two contemporary suspense books that I got. I had that, is it called an anthology? I think that's what it's called. Um, it's just, it was three short stories. Written by Dee Henderson, Danny Petrie, and Lynette Eason. And I almost picked it up, but I decided to hold off. So maybe it will be there um, next time I go. And I might pick it up. We'll see. I didn't want to get too many suspense books because, again, I don't want to burn myself out before I've even, like, really, really started. But I've heard great things about Dee Henderson, Danny Petrie, and um, Irene Hannon, and Terry Blackstock. I've heard really, really good things about all of them. So I'm hoping as I dip my little tootsies back into the suspense water that it will open more doors to more authors. So these are the contemporary books that I got. They're so pretty. And I'm so excited to read all of them. Hurry because my battery is going to die on my camera, so no rambling in this one. Last is going to be our historical fiction bag, and I'm so excited for this one. All right, so I'm just going to go through this fast. The first one that I got is A Heart Most Certain by Miss Melissa Jagers. I have one book by her in print form. And I love her writing, so I don't know why I don't have more. But I decided this is from her Tiva Moral Society. And I think it just came out this year or it just started. And she just wrote another one. I can't, I don't know. But I decided to pick it up and read it. And I'm so very, very excited. The last three books that I got is a series. I think this might be out of... No. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! My Siri turned on. <laughs> That's funny. That's not what I wanted. It is a full series, and I think this might be out of order, but um, I'll fix it when I put it on my shelves. This is the Ladies of the Manor series by Miss Rosanna M. White. And I have not read anything by her. Um, a Name Unknown is on my TBR. And she has a new one coming out next month. And I really want to read um, some of her books. So I can get those soon too. So the books are The Lost Heiress. A Lady Unrivaled. And The Reluctant Duchess. So they are so, these are another three that are so pretty. I'm getting like total Jane Austen feels from this, like Regency times. It's so beautiful. And I love when series do this. I've talked about this before. So these are the four historical fiction books that I got today. I am so excited with the haul that I came away with. And I am so blessed and thankful that I was able to do it and able to, I had a couple extra dollars to spend on it. Um, and I seriously cannot wait to add them to my bookshelves and to my TBR pile and to read them and I am so excited. I hope you're as excited as I am. I hope you're excited for me being excited. Of course, <laughs> all the links that I can put in will be in the description box below. While you're down there, you can go ahead and click a bunch of the links and follow me. You can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com, and my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction and follow me on Goodreads and everywhere else. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!